and I'm not even sure that this is the kind you can eat, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Look at that. Yeah, worm. Looks so nasty. Oh my gosh. Can't get it off. Look, we found us a Chickasaw plum tree. This is a native Florida species of tree you can find in the woods. There's another species here called the flatwoods plum. Now, we're gonna to try to find some fresh fruit that you can eat. And we found one that was somewhat ripe. Now, this is a real astringent tasting fruit. But I'm gonna eat this one even though it's ripe and these tend to be very bitter. So, let's take a good look at the fruit, see how it tastes. Yeah, whoo! A sweet tart. All right, today I'm gonna show you something the Native Americans used to consider gum. This is a sap from a prunus tree. This is a Chickasaw plum. It's related to the cherry tree. In common folklore, the Native Americans would eat sap from a cherry tree. This is in the same family. So we're gonna take a look at it. Nasty, you may be thinking, but in reality, it's just part of nature. You may at first glance say, oh, this looks like a fungus or a mushroom. But no, this is actually sap. Sap that is exuding out of the bark due to a bacterial infection inside the cambium layer of the tree. This condition is called gamosis. This right here is the sap. It's very gummy and chewy. And uh, I've never tried it, and I'm not even sure that this is the kind you can eat, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Um, but as you can see, this sap wasn't here last week when we first looked at this tree, and now the sap's here today. The tree had a big wound on it, so the tree's probably got some kind of an internal bacteria that's causing it to pressurize the system and then excrete this sap. Um, I'm going to cut a piece off. Mmm, look at that. There's even a worm on that one. Look at that. Yeah, a worm. I don't think I'm going to eat that part of it. I think he's stuck that on looks it. fresh. Probably is. Saving one's life. I don't think he's gonna be happy if I eat him. I'm not real big on killing wildlife, but this seems like something the tree doesn't need anymore. Oh, that looks so nasty. Oh my gosh. Can't get it off. How is it, Al? sweet at least no it's not sweet is it's it like, bitter texture is like that of a gummy worm flavor is like that of dry flour super dry no flavor whatsoever um, it probably is edible but it is not good tasting it doesn't taste bad it really just dries your mouth out like an astringent taste and uh, I would recommend eating some yourself but definitely put some flavor in it. In reality, cherry trees can be toxic. The leaves, stems, and seeds of the fruit are all toxic. So know what you're doing and definitely identify the tree correctly before you consider eating something like that. Be sure to hit that like button. Every like really does help. And subscribe so you can go back and check out our previous episodes and check out the channel trailer.